Welcome to Grow New Plants. Today I'm going to propagate some African violets. I've got a friend named Ken where he owns Hunter's Hybrids and he hybridizes these African violets and comes up with some really unique plants. Uh, you can see all these. He's, he really works on the foliage. He gets these variegations in here. Beautiful blooms. And the three that I've got today, this is a standard variety and this is a Hunter's Credence. This is a mini and this one is the mini dinky do and this one doesn't have a lot of flowering on it yet but then they're little they stay little and then this one is a uh, semi mini and it's called a dilly dilly absolutely beautiful plant so i'm gonna <laughs> do what i always do i'm gonna tear them up take leaves off of them and they'll recover and they'll be fine i'm just take some of the outside leaves they'll recover and be fine but i'm gonna take some cuttings off of them and we're gonna try and make some new plants out of them okay i'm just taking a single edge razor blade and I'm going to go around and I've, I've counted and I think I can get about eight leaves off the outside of this without totally butchering the thing. So I'm just going to take my razor blade and go around the outside. That one I need to get a little higher up. might have been better off taking this out of the pot but I think I'm gonna be able to get them okay so I'm gonna get like I said I'm gonna take these lower outside ones off first and then I'll see what it looks like so I don't want to totally butcher the plant that's right, one two three four five six there's another big one I can take off. Well, that was seven. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna take this one right here too. Okay, so that gives me eight of these. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take, with the leaf side up, about three quarters of an inch down the stem, I'm just gonna take my razor blade and do a 45 inch cut, or 45 degree cut, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do that on all eight of these. And uh, a lot of this, I've got a lot of knowledge from Ken too. He's super knowledgeable about these plants. He sells his plants on eBay and I'll leave you a link down in the description to his eBay site and then his uh, Facebook page is Hunter's Hybrids. So you can search that and I'll leave a link to both of those down there. Uh, Pierce DM is his eBay site. So there I got eight of these. So I'm gonna get reset up and move my pots in here and then we'll go ahead and stick these. Okay, so I've got my leaves now. And all I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna take them to my soil. It's 50-50. Uh, just regular indoor potting mix like never grow indoor potting mix and then 50% coarse perlite and I put it in there real loose I can kind of tap it down a little bit, but you don't really want to pack it So I'm just kind of tapping it down a little bit letting it settle good I'll do all the rest of these off camera. I'm just kind of showing you what my process is here So then we just take these things and Take them stick them pack a little bit of dirt around them and I kind of lay them on the edge of the where they're laying on the edge of the of the pot to kind of give them a little bit of support and you just pack them down in there just a lot, little bit not a lot and then these things will be bottom watered as they're growing up but for right now the first time I'm going to water them from the top and I've got a uh, fertilizer mix that it's a water soluble fertilizer that I just mix in with my water that I also got from Ken. So I'm gonna take that for the first time and I'll water them in good from the top. I'll probably come back and do this a little bit more off camera. I don't wanna I don't wanna bore you with this while I'm doing it all on camera. But basically I'm just gonna water them in where they're pretty well saturated this first time. And then after that, all I'll do is just water them from the bottom. I won't put any more water on the top of them after that. So there's my 
first set of leaves stuck in the ground. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do the other two and I'll go ahead and fast forward through those. Okay, I got all these things stuck now. So I ended up with eight of the uh, Credence, and I ended up with eight of the Dilly Dilly, and then I only ended up with four of the Minis. The Minis, the leaves were so short, that plant was still really young. So I don't know whether those are gonna take or not. They got very short uh, stems on them. So hopefully they'll still take, but we're gonna let them see what happens. So I've got my fertilizer water that I'm gonna basically pour some of that down in the bottom of this tray and then just let these things wick up from the bottom. And that's all I'll do. I won't put any more water on the tops of them. And hopefully between two weeks and a month, I'll start seeing little baby plants come up. They'll start getting some roots, some baby plants come up. And the other thing that I'm gonna do too, I'm putting these onto my, on my uh, plant shelf under my grow lights. Just gonna leave them alone, water them every two or three days, put water in the tray. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and cover them. I got a dome here. So I'll go ahead and cover them with this dome too, just to help keep moisture in so they don't try and dry out. And that's about it. So uh, if, if you wanna go and look at Ken's stuff, go to his Facebook page, uh, Hunter's Hybrids, or you can go to his eBay where he sells them online. Uh, it's uh, Pierce, Pierce DM at eBay. I'll put links to both of them down in the description. And I'd really appreciate sending some stuff his way. I really appreciate him giving these to me. And uh, hopefully I'll have a bunch of new plants here in a couple weeks or a month or so. I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.